This week, we explore the valley and the people who live at the bottom. We get to learn about the river that brings life to the valley. We get to show you the other side of Aurora. Wacha hiyo unasikianga kila saa kwa news. Huko ni kama kana. Tunapata maembe, ndisi, bye bye, ndimu. Kila aina ya matunda. It actually is a beautiful place flowing with water. We get to drive up the escarpment where one mistake, hey, we get to sleep in the best hotel Aurora has to offer. The Kerio Valley is formed between the Elgeo and the Tugen escarpments and is one of the largest valleys in Kenya stretching 80 kilometers long by 10 kilometers wide. Going down the escarpment from the Tugen side is exciting as one takes this winding road down from Cabernet town. Hope to start with the first feature of interest, but the weather was inclement. On planning this trip, we hadn't bargained for rain because it doesn't rain in this part of Kenya in the middle of January. It's a bit ironic that to go up at Natakamboa Ishe so that we can get good shots. But I bet what to upper on the Kwaki on Beamboa. But come on, if you're just touring, the rain wouldn't stop you. In fact, this would be... I bless the rains down in Africa. Mama. Definitely wouldn't stop you. In fact, the rain makes it even prettier. <clears throat> but we're coming back. After all, we are adventurers. Say him to grow even better. So we decided to go the farthest end of the valley in the Elgeo Marakwet side. The Kerio has its sources from the Elgeo Marakwet escarpment where the Kimware River is the major tributary. For thousands of years, I imagine it may have its own nature, its own art form. And we are here at the bottom of the Kerio Valley, the Kerio River Imeformi Gorge, and all this water is going to go all the way to Lake Turkana. But besides that, this place is amazing. Yani, you have to be here to see it. That's the rock formations, what the water has done, what time has done. It's just amazing. Beautiful colors. Downstream from here, the river will be joined by the Aror and Emboboot rivers. This river provides water for many of the people living on the valley floor. And since there are no major towns on the valley floor, it is generally clean and healthier. Sometimes it is good to take a pause and just enjoy the clear waters flowing.
It feels like the calm before the storm. From here, it will flow for about 300 kilometers to its final destination, Lake Turkana. Also, be very careful. It's very slippery, but be very careful. So amazing. <laughs> this bridge, however, is not a very good place to stop without security, especially when there's conflict because it is the border of El Marakwet and Baringo counties. Two communities live on either side of the divide and occasionally there is conflict. We safely make it to Aror, a small town that gets to be on the headlines for all the wrong reasons. Three people have died, two among them police reservists, with others reported missing in an ongoing onslaught between Marquette and suspected Pokot raiders in the war-torn Kerio Valley. Pain and mourning in Kerio Valley following a bloody bandit attack which has left many people in mourning. Five people have been shot dead in Kerio Valley as the bloodletting in the volatile area worsens. So if it is not the dam scandal, it is the banditry. We, however, would like to show you a different side of Aurora. If it wasn't for all the bad publicity, Aurora would be popular because of food. All this for 30 bob. So, Abba, Abba, Kuil, Salam, Makuna. I'm going to see what was going on. Yeah. It is a small farming town at the foot of the El Geo escarpment. There are mango trees everywhere. We decide to try and get as close to the falls as possible. It is possible to ascend the escarpment from Aror town on this loose surface road. It is in good condition and even small cars are able to comfortably use it. You just need to make sure you have enough horsepower and good brakes. Otherwise, you could jump to a conclusion. The view from the top is enchanting. We 
say let's let's get a, a better view of you know the whole area and this area is gonna be a uzito. I don't know if you place camera. It's more prepared than a uzito. Chesuman location. Man, fantastic. Ni fantastic. Perfect place to just come. And just chill. The people of Aurora are very resilient. Even though there was an attack the previous day just nearby, they are going about their business as usual. Shops are still open at night and hotels were still taking in guests. Lucky for us, Jusasa Tungela Lawapi. Hmm. Land of apple mangoes, the best juicy in Akwambia. Now, this is 10 shillings, but now and cut to mechajiwa visitors fee. Tungepara na five. Anyway, we're here at the best accommodation that Aurora has to offer. In fact, yeah, we compare to what Nairobi has to offer any in comparison. It's still luxury. Luxury in Akwambia. <laughs> <laughs> when you need your way, to be putting five hundred. When you need, ah, when na you can belen belen ako. So say me tu na taka serikali kupatiye kazi. Talk apa, jipatiye shugli, taku finya. Finya. We usually don't do hotel reviews, but Aurora was different. It is not every day where the most expensive accommodation is five hundred. I bet you would like to see what it had to offer. Yes, welcome to Oasis. Sai room ni poor sana. Hona tu. Just look. Oasis of colors. And immediately una there is a painting here of uh, Masai Zolo to call Marakwet. Uh, by diversity, don't fight diversity. Yeah, uh, electricity as you can see here tapa. You can just charge your phone. It works. It works. Look. Eh. Do you apple? Yes. Fantastic. Napewa towel. Yeah. Na kuna slippers. These slippers, tena, ni mzuri sana zina match. Na tena zijakulua. <laughs> ni upua, kuna ta carpet. Na ndisa mango, wana kupea ka, ka. Okay, hii ni mimi ni menunua. But, uh, well, tuseme tu. It's perfect lighting. And also, over here, as you can see. Actually, show. Let me give you a, yeah. the, the electricity works. No electricity. Electricity. No electricity. Electricity. You're here at a road, you'll be tired, the road is rough, and you want to take a shower, and you want to be in the mood. Chiki, Obana, Chiki, what? You're in the mood as you do your things, yeah? You also do your things, and then you finish. And then, okay, you know, like, you just come, you just come to this side. What happens here is this is a good space for, uh, okay, obviously for putting your tissue and hanging other things, but also just meditating. And now you're ready to just chill. Come on, go. Hey, a roar. By the come on, a roar. I don't know what you're doing, man. This is the place to be. Yeah? The night, thankfully, was uneventful, and we wake to a misty morning. So last night, uh, again, we were stuck here because we couldn't really move. It was at night, it wasn't that safe to move around. So we decided to park it in the safest place. Bado Uku, unlike Nairobi, church is a very safe space. Um, again, it's a flat tire. So we just want to change and then we move. Part of travel. Sometimes flat tire, sometimes engine in a kata. Miss Duke change tire. So we go, eh. Hey, uh, <laughs> the repair shop is nearby and I decide to use my childhood skills to roll the tire. Yani, to roll tire. 
Kumbe hizi skills za kupeleka taya ningezitumia later in life. Na hiyo Jack ilichukua the whole crew to make it work. Aror may have its problems but one of them is not water. River Aror provides water to the town and has been canal to bring the water closer to everyone. The river water is used mainly for farming or other domestic purposes. But for drinking they have a cleaner alternative. Remember I imagine mazuri akunywa. So uh, ultimate test na kunanga dawa imewekwa ama eh maji tu vile imekuja ni sawa ndio mnachota inatoka chini eh oh doesn't matter what time of the year what season it is the water doesn't stop it's free flowing and it keeps going and <clears throat> no thing about this show we have always been showcasing water whether it's a river or a lake a uh, spring I've drunk from different springs and what I'm noticing is that kila place it can a its distinct taste if you pay attention maji si maji tu hapa nasikia wakati wengine kuna amani wakati mwingine hakuna unaweza tuelezea zaidi eh eh amani kwa arol hakuna amani kutoka huko chini east sisi kutoka tunya na kulos mm. lakini hakuna amani sasa hivi hata yeah. tukikuja kuchota maji yeah. ni kuchota mchana na kurudi nyumbani haraka yeah. kwa sababu ni wasiwasi yeah. mm. wakati wote ama ni usiku sana sana wakati wote eh yeah. mm. oh, okay despite the conflict surrounding the area aror is still growing with new buildings coming up so beautiful River Aror there's a forest very fertile land wonderful history wonderful people so much to see but it's very unfortunate that the situation here is you know there's so much unrest that not everyone can experience the beauty that this place has to offer so hopefully something can happen so that more people can experience what Aror has to offer On leaving the town, we get a police car to escort us past the volatile area. It is a short distance of about 3 kilometers, but it is still a bit tense. I don't know whether it's a good omen or a bad one, but it seems that we have a police escort behind us. Um so I guess to go safe. Ama hatuko safe hadi tunahitaji police escort. Either way. Our next stop is another Marakwet town at the foot of the escarpment. Hapa ni jamii ya mojao ya Kalengin wanaitwa Marakwet. Marakwet. Eh. Asa China Marakwet ilianza hii kwa hii location yangu. Ah okay. Yeah. Na sasa Marakwet wali 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 migrate kutoka Wali migrate wengi wengine wali migrate kutoka huko Mount Elgon. Na wengine wanatoka upande wa Poko huko huko Misri na wanakuja nje ya pokot na wakaka kama manduku sasa na sasa hapo mbona walikuja kukaa hapa hai area ni mzuri yeah. kwa sababu mm. e, kuna maji mm. walikuwa wanafuata maji mm-hmm. na na tena eri, na upande wa chuo hiyo escarpment escarpment mm. ni pale ya kuchipicha kama ukiona adui yeah. unaenda juu yeah. na unaenda kukaa huko yeah. mm. hii area ni mzuri ambao wewe kuvitalize wewe yeah. kujichota inalimwa bure Eh yeah. nilimwa peke yake. Au au kuna hata kuna watu wengi badalaisa. Eh. Mhm. Hata huyu ameitikia. Eh yeah, sio. <laughs> kuna ndogo wanapita hiyo corridor huko chini. Ndogo. Eh yeah, ndogo inapita huko kario. Mhm. Sometimes msata kuna wanyama hilo ndogo ndogo tik tik nini. Huko yeah. nyingi unajua shamba ni kubwa hii shamba yetu. Eh. Yeah ni kubwa. Huko karibia ndovu wanga na karibia huko ama. Eh wanakuchanga, wanakuchanga wanda kwa nakula hata maimbi maimbi nini hapa. Hadi hapa? Eh. Ndovu wanakula hata ndisi hapo. Hata 
Hata maembe, ukikuja hiyo, umeona maembe yanakuja kukula. Kwa sababu wanapenda ndizi na paipai. Eh. Wanakuja kabisa. Jai jua ti hmm. ndovu inapenda ndizi hmm. na paipai. Ya anapenda sana. Eh. Hmm. Watu wa wanahitajika wakuje waangalie kwa sababu ni amani iko. Eh. Ni nini wakati amani itakuwa? Eh. Wakuje waangalie. Huko ni kama kana. Mm. Tuko na machungwa mingi. Eh. Umesema Matu... ni kama kana. Ni kama kana. <laughs> Kwa sababu ukikuja huku mara kwa artisti unapata maembe, yeah. ndisi, yeah. bye bye, yeah. ndimu, yeah. kila aina ya matunda. Yeah. There is trouble in the land of milk and honey, but it is a beautiful place to visit with beautiful people who would love for there to be peace. Next week we continue with our journey. We get to the most dangerous paved road in Kenya. Its most dangerous section has 22 bends and climbs over one kilometer in altitude. Carved out of the Kerio escarpment, it is like nothing you have seen in any other part of Kenya. This is Sambalat. <laughs> <laughs>